Welcome back to my booktube channel, Books with Leo, and today I'm doing another reading vlog. So you've just seen some footage of my day today. I've been working for my Etsy store. What else have I been doing? I've cleaned the house a bit, made everything fresh. Tomorrow I'm hosting a little Halloween dinner party and I'm really, really excited. So I picked up some groceries for that as well and I'm going to be preparing my soup in a bit. Um, and also dinner for today immediately at the same time but before we get into all that i want to show you guys some of my new etsy stuff that is coming soon with my new christmas update i think when this video goes online it's probably already online the link to my web shop is always in my description and i'm so happy with all of you guys support and yeah it just makes me really happy if you're looking for some christmas gifts now's the best time to order because there are lots of delays always with the post so order your gifts early and support a small business. <laughs> I'm going to be selling Christmas cards, but I also have some Christmas bookmarks. Um, I have this one with the ribbon, it is so cute. It's got all these tiny Christmas figures on it and a gold ribbon and it just looks adorable. And then we've got these two gold foiled ones with also a really cute Christmas design. And this one says, all I want for Christmas is books. And this one says, have a cozy Christmas. <laughs> I'm just so excited to start selling these. And then this is the one with a pattern just wanted to show that really quickly so let's talk about some books now I'm currently in the middle of two books I'm reading the X hex by Erin Sterling I am enjoying this so much so far it's about a young witch who casts a spell on her ex and then ten years later he comes back to her town and all sorts of things start going wrong it's a rom-com it's witchy it's Halloweeny it is so funny and I love all the witchy elements and the magic school and everything. It's really cool. It's really cool. I'm really happy that I'm reading this. I'm so excited I picked it up. I've been excited for this book ever since I heard it was coming out, which was like like early September. So I'm just really happy to be finally reading it. I'm flying through it, so that's always good. Something else I'm in the middle of is The Marvels by Brian Seltznik. Um... I'm like exactly in the middle and this is a really beautiful story about a theater and multiple generations living through that theater and it's just really wonderful and what is really cool about it is that it's part graphic novel 
with these really cool illustrations and then the end of the story is just a regular story. I've not reached the regular story bit yet. It's just been really magical and a really interesting way of consuming a story so far. So I've really been enjoying this. Normally with graphic novels it's very often like panels and stuff and like still some text but this is just really big imagery and there's sometimes some text in there um in like a collage form more sort of or like this when there's like a lesser in the illustration um but it's a really different way of consuming a story but i'm really really enjoying it and wonderfully done so beautiful so those are the books i'm currently reading um i've also ordered some books today um during when i was supposed to be working i've ordered some books and i'm really excited for those to come in they're probably going to come in tomorrow i've ordered the witch haven which is also a historical fantasy set in a witching school and i've also ordered fangs which is a graphic novel all about a vampire and a werewolf falling in love or something like that i'm not entirely sure it just sounded really good and i wanted to read it so yeah i decided i'd treat myself to some new books um so i'm really excited for those to come in and yeah now i'm going to cook dinner and do some more work and i'll see you guys later with another reading update <laughs> hi friends i'm so excited about today my halloween dinner is today and i'm just completely buzzing i'm about to go into town to grab up some final stuff to get everything ready here and to prepare my soup it's sort of a potluck dinner so we're all making our own stuff i'm really excited for my costume for tonight as well so i've read quite a bit in the x hex i'm absolutely loving this i'm totally in my witchy mood and this is just the perfect addition to me and my witchy mood. I think I'm like halfway through now. It's just so magical, but so much fun. It has got like the best of the two genres I enjoy reading the most, which is fantasy and probably rom-coms. <laughs> so I'm just really enjoying it. Like there's gothic libraries, there's a magic school, there's a romance. It's just, and it's really funny. And it's really great that this is an adult novel because a lot of the magic school narratives and the witchy narratives that I've read are YA. This is just so much fun. I'm really enjoying this. It's so silly, but it's so good. And yeah, I'm just having a great time. I think this is like the perfect fall read. It's like super Halloween-y. They're constantly talking about crisp autumn air and leaves on the ground and stuff like that. And it's just really enjoyable. And I'm really happy that I picked it up. That's what I'm currently still reading. I didn't read any further in the Marvels. I hope to finish that later on. But yeah, now I'm gonna head into town to prepare things for my Halloween dinner. And then the rest of today, I'm just gonna do a little work and relax a little bit before all my friends are coming over. And I'm so excited. <laughs> it's Tuesday today and I really have not filmed for quite a bit um so I've been working yesterday I took some shots of that so you've probably just seen it I'm really really excited I'm working on my new collection for Etsy I've been extremely busy with that all so like low-key stressed but also really excited so I'm coming out with new bookmarks um here are some few that I wanted to show you so these are some fantasy dagger bookmarks they're in the form of a dagger and I think they are really cool I love that I'm going to be selling more um shaped bookmarks I've got these Christmas ones and they're like kind of pop up so if you stick this in your book like the little 
Christmas leaf bouquet will stick out, which is really cute. Um, let me just show you what that'll look like. That would then look something like this. So that's really fun. I always love making the shaped bookmarks. And I also have a similar one that is more winter themed, but then with little mushrooms and it's all glowy and stuff. This is my favorite, I think, and it's so cute. And yeah, it just looks really adorable. You've got these tiny mushrooms sticking out of your book and it's just so cute. If you want to shop small this Christmas, then definitely buy with a small business. It doesn't even have to be me, but I'd just love to encourage you. I do want to say, however, if it is me, um, please order your Christmas presents in time and preferably way before December. So November would be best. My Christmas collection is coming out this week, probably. So I'm really excited. I need to plan it and everything, but very excited. Speaking of books, I'm still reading The X Hex by Erin Sterling. Really enjoying this one. I'm now more towards the end. The banter between the two love interests is so much fun to read about. The gothic places they go to. They're even hunting a ghost at some point and it's just so much fun. It's really like if you're looking for something witchy and spooky that feels very autumnal but that is still also a great rom-com and has a lot of spicy smutty scenes. I would highly recommend this one. And I've also finally made some progress in the Marvels by Brian Seltznik. Um, pretty foreign i'd say so i've arrived at the written part of the story and so far i've got no clue what's going on to be honest because we just had this whole storyline about the marvels and then we just switched into this new story about a boy who's run away and so far i haven't really distinguished what connects him to the marvels so that's a bit confusing so i don't know what's going on there nonetheless still very excited to be reading this and it's a really good book so far i like the writing style i just like the sort of multimedia aspect of it all so that's really exciting if you hear anything in the background that's my sister who's currently staying at my house we went to a concert yesterday and we had a lot of fun um, so she's trying to wave, but she, she's outside of the frame. So for today, I still have a lot of work to do. I have to edit, I have to do some stuff for the web shop. Um, and we might film some videos together, but that really depends on how the day goes because I have to edit some stuff. Um, we are going to be doing the I Make My Sister Read My Favourite Books video. Yeah. I just gave her Nevermore so she can read Nevermore. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about it. It's really one of my favourite novels. So yeah. Oh, and I'm going to be picking up my book haul in a bit. And my other book is coming in today. So tomorrow I'll probably film like a little bit of all the books I got, which is really exciting. I haven't really properly bought any books for myself in a really long time. So that's just really exciting to be buying some books for myself again. That was my little reading and life and work update. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. It's unbelievable how many times I've wanted to film this little ending clip to the vlog and how many times I've just not done it. <laughs> I was very busy the last couple of days. I just had my Christmas shop update. I'm really excited. You can go check out all my new Christmas and winter products right now via the link in the description box and I would appreciate it a lot. You guys make me so happy. So if I'm correct, you guys have just seen a compilation of a bunch of random clips of my life over the past few days. I just didn't really find the time to film a proper clip of me reading and talking. So I just filmed here and there where I could. Now I'm just going to wrap up everything that I've been reading the last couple of days and in this vlog. I'm also going to show you my book mail, the books that I got on the mail and yeah, let's get on with it. I have finished the X Hex a couple of days ago already. I didn't end up loving it as much as I thought I would. I just kind of, it kind of fell flat for me towards the ending. It was just very predictable and I knew what was coming and everything, but still I really enjoy the whole witchy October fall aspect of this book a lot and I'm in a huge witchy mood still. So this was a really nice read. I did really enjoy it. I think I gave it four stars or three and a half something like that i would definitely recommend it it's just not like a big all-time fave and i kind of had expected it to be um but yeah i did really enjoy it and then there's also some book mail that i still need to unpack i've left it in the box all this time because i knew i wanted to unpack it for this vlog so that's dedication if you ask me yay <laughs> So I ordered these two books. Um, this is Fangs by Sarah Anderson. This is a graphic novel about, um, I think, a, a vampire that falls in love with 
a werewolf or something of the sort. Um, I don't know. I just thought the little book was so adorable and I immediately wanted to get it just because of this vampire lady on the front. I just thought it looked so cute. It read online that it was really heartwarming and a lot of fun and yeah. I've not found any graphic novels since Heartstopper that really did the heartwarming thing to me. So I've been on the lookout for one and a spooky one would be extra great. So that's why I picked this one up. So I'm really excited to see if I actually like it. And the second book I got is The Witch Haven by Sasha Payton Smith. I've not been hearing a lot about this on booktube, but it has been on my own personal radar for a bit. Um, this is a book about, um, I think this is historical fiction actually, which is cool because I haven't read historical in quite a while. Um, and it's about Frances Hallowell, who's a seamstress and she's mourning the mysterious death of her brother and then she's attacked and a man ends up dead at her feet and she's sent to a sanatorium, like a place for the mentally ill in 1911 because that's where this whole story is set. Um, but then she discovers that this sanatorium is actually a school for witches and she's a witch and yeah, she's out to get revenge for what happened to her brother and it just sounds really good. I love a good witchy school. And I've not read historical fiction in such a long time, so especially that is also what drew me in. And of course this stunning cover because oh my god, look at that. And I've seen that the naked cover is also really beautiful. Anything with moons on it, I want to have it. It's so pretty. Anyway, so I'm really happy that I got this as well. When I was in the city, I went book thrift shopping and I got a whole bag full of books. And first I was like, okay, I'll show it in the vlog. But then I was like, no, I'll film a separate um, thrifted book haul so you guys can keep on the lookout for that. If it's already online, I'll link it somewhere up here. But one of the books I bought at the thrift store is one that I've been reading already as well. The cover is incredibly ugly, but I really like the spine. It has like a butterfly on the spine. This is Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. I think this is the same author who wrote Night Film. This is her debut novel. It's really big and it said on the cover that it was a mix up between Donna Tartt's Secret History and a Hitchcock movie. And it's also about somebody who's been murdered and a mystery and it's also Dark Academia, uh, and I just, I was sold. It sounded really good, and I've heard nobody talk about this. I don't know why, but yeah, I've been reading it a bit. I didn't want to start it, actually, but then I did, and I just couldn't stop reading, and so far, it's been amazing. I feel like this is going to be a new all-time favourite. Like, it's not a perfect book. There's so many flawed characters in here, and people that you sort of hate, but you're so intrigued by them, and you just want to know what happens. So before I knew it, I was on page 70, and... It's just, the writing style is so beautiful. There's so many passages in here that just make me go like, that's brilliant. I wish I would have thought of that as a writer. That's so good. All the characters in this story are so intriguing and they are so flawed and like so much great morality everywhere and like you love them but you hate them. Really interesting so far. I've got no clue where it's going plot wise. I feel like, it, I feel like it's just all vibes, no plot, but in a really good way. We follow Blue van der Meer um, and her dad and she grows up all over the place and her dad moves her from here to there and he's a professor at a university and they meet this weird lady that is really intriguing um, and she ends up dead. Uh, so in the beginning of the novel she's already dead but then you read what happened beforehand and something happened to her and then you also read bits of Blue when she's older and she's in university herself. And if I really like this one I immediately need to pick up night film of course so so that was this reading vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what you are currently reading and also let me know whether you enjoyed this vlog i always love seeing your guys comments and yeah it's just one of my favorite things about making videos reading the comments and interacting with you guys and yeah if you don't know what to comment um leave a coffee emoji or something of the sort i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye